I'm gonna walk up there. I need to go to the gym. Okay, this is on one side of the hill. Tired. I think I'm lost. These things are stuck on the rocks, they're alive. I think it's an anemone thing. the ghetto in Coffs Harbor and uh, I just checked out this uh, hostel which you can maybe see the building behind me um, and uh, I'm not sure what the place is like I'm kind of I don't know I'm a little bit uh, probably a mile off the beach and um, the guy at the front he gave me this um, discover discover the, the Coffs coast and then uh, he gave me a towel and some sheets so um, I'll have to uh, see what this uh, what this place is like. That's my room right there. I'm uh, here in my room, and uh, it's like 9 o'clock, I just worked at the internet cafe across the street for like 3 hours, and uh, this is my room, it's just like a dorm, like, like I'm back in college, got beds, I have one roommate who's from London, I forget his name, I'll ask him. It is four o'clock and I just now got here to Forster, so uh, I'm not sure um, what this place is like or anything, but um, I'm going to be staying just down the road that way um, at this place, so I'm not going to check in there till later though. And uh, so this is kind of a parky looking area, and we'll see what the rest looks like out there. Interesting uh, pine tree we have here. Or something, I don't know what it is. Wow.
I, uh, I'm gonna go explore that beach behind me that's way out there. So, uh, let's see what there is. So, uh, I can't figure out why anyone would ever want to live in Australia. There's a giant crab something in there. It just moved. Come out, little crabby. Come out, come out, come out. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's a giant crab though. Okay, I'm gonna go up there. So these, uh, those, uh, native kids right there, they just came up to me and they were like, what are you doing? I'm taking a picture of myself. What do you think I'm doing? I don't know what that is, but it's in the water. I'm here at my uh, second hostel um, in Forster um, by the beach. Here's the room. Bathrooms. Someone's there. And there's my stuff. Um, I uh, just got back from eating Mexican food because I was um, craving it. And um, definitely a mark against Australia. Um, so they don't have tortilla chips, um, which I don't understand. Their salsa isn't spicy and it's more like V8 that they pour on the top of stuff. Um, they told me they had a special on garlic bread. So I, um, I was like, oh sure, I'll try the garlic, garlic bread, thinking it was like going to be maybe Italian, kind of like. Um, and it was a quesadilla with garlic on it um, with the V8 salsa. Um, so pretty much it was the most disgusting thing I've ever experienced and um, and it was like twenty dollars US so it was ridiculous and uh, oh and they, they didn't even have refried beans they they were beans but they were definitely only fried once yeah for sure so um, pretty much I want to go back to America um, where we have real Mexican food um, but yeah so I don't know if I can move to Australia anymore so uh... <clears throat> Last night um, was kind of a rough night. Um, first of all, that Mexican food I was telling you about, it, it, it was bad on, uh, on the stomach too because uh, I was really in dire need of Pepto, but um, because it's Australia, everything closes around 7 p.m. Um, or earlier, so there was no Pepto to be had because there was no chemist open. And um, so uh, I had a stomach ache and I was like, well, I'll take a shower and maybe I'll feel better if I take a shower. So I. Uh, I head to the bathroom and I go in there and I go to hop in the shower and that's when about six giant cockroaches go scattering from from everywhere. They were they were jumping at me. They were some were running away. They were they were screaming in terror. I was screaming in terror, and um, it was just pretty much um, an ugly situation. And so um, I, I did take a shower, but um, I didn't want to uh, stay in the bathroom any longer than was necessary. So I didn't really get around to shaving or anything.